promise not to go to that hotel, Sophie. I bet you wouldn't even last one night at that hotel. Yes, I could. <laughs> then prove it. I'm kind of busy. I can't do it tonight. Told you so. You're scared. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, my goodness. We're here. Hotel Bloxburg. This is the place, all right. Look at it. It is so, so terribly creepy, don't you think? I've never accepted Sophie's dare to come in here, but I gotta prove her wrong. I gotta prove to her that I am not a chicken, even though right now I'm definitely feeling like one. You can do this. Just go inside and uh, talk to people. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be that hard, should it? Okay, all right, here goes nothing. Hello? Hello? This is terrifying. At least I have a cozy chair over here. Hello! Woo! Oh, uh, hi there. Welcome to Hotel Bloxburg. Thank you. I... Are you here to check into our wonderful hotel? Five stars, you know. Oh, um, yeah, about that. I, I don't know if I'm staying. Oh, come on. This place is pure luxury. I'll discount the rate by 50 cents a night. Hmm, sounds tempting, but uh, that's okay. I was just coming here to check it out. <laughs> Nonsense. You'll be staying here. Whoa. Um, guess I don't really have a choice now, do I? <laughs> Not really. Come on, I'll take you to one of our luxury suites. Right this way. Okay, sounds good. This place is definitely uh giving me antique vibes. Oh yes, Hotel Bloxburg has been around for centuries. Right this way. Oops, <laughs> sorry, we're doing uh, construction in this room. Uh, nothing to see here. Oh. Okay. Ah, housekeeping even kept the door open for you. Here you are. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, well, looks like I'm staying here tonight. Maybe this place won't be that bad. <gasps> Wait, oh no. There's no TV. What am I supposed to do? I guess I'll just read one of the books over here. <gasps> Was that noise? Gonna definitely read a book. Yeah, okay. So that book was very boring. What else am I supposed to do in here? And why is there just a creepy cat stuffed animal? All right, just uh, normal, right? Come here, Mr. Cat. I will name you, um, I don't know. Sheldon! Sheldon, you'll be my new best friend in this terribly creepy hotel. Awesome. Noise again. Okay, I've been hearing that noise on and off for the past like 30 minutes. What the heck is going on? Sheldon, you stay here. Keep watch over the room. I'm gonna go see what's going on out here. Hello? Is is anyone here? The noise again. Where is it coming from? Hello? It's from this door here. Is, is everything okay? You know what? Maybe I should just stay in my room. That noise, it's not stopping. Oh, hey, excuse me, sir. You need any fresh towels? Oh no, I'm all set, but there's a really weird noise coming from this hallway. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, there it is. Tell me you heard that. No, you didn't hear anything. No, I most definitely did. You need to mind your business. No, but it sounded like- Like nothing. You better get out of this hotel immediately. What the? You hardly get out of here. Leave now or you'll be in big trouble. What do you mean by trouble? You don't wanna know! Oh my gosh, I think this guy's right out. I'm out of here! Gosh, I gotta get out of this place. It is so totally creepy. I hate it here. There's so many crazy weird things happening. And <gasps> who are all those old people on the wall? I don't like old people. They scare me and they usually smell like caramel candy. Relax, Brittany. Just find your way out of here. And um, hello? Okay, um, can't open the front door. Nothing to be alarmed about, right? That's a uh, totally normal in a hotel. Okay, um, let me just try one of the rooms here. Why won't this open? What the heck? Okay, I'll try this one. No? Oh my gosh, are all the doors locked? What am I supposed to do? I'm stuck in here forever and there's no service because there's no Wi-Fi and I left my phone in my car. Just... Just think, just think, it'll all be okay. I know this is authorized employees only, but could be a way out. You no, know, here we go, it's worth a shot. <gasps> okay, cool. And there's a bunch of toothbrushes. Maybe this one will work too. Okay, awesome, nothing to really worry about. Oh, Brittany, be brave, be brave, you got this. What in the pineapples? It's like a chuck outline of a noob body? What the heck, is this a crime scene? I wonder why it's extra shady here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I, I gotta get out of here. I need to leave. I need to leave. 
No, this isn't good. What if that creepy manager man finds me sneaking around? There's gotta be a place I can hide, right? Um, uh, what do I do? Oh, uh, hello. Ah! Oh, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing down here, pal? Oh, um, I was just looking for, oh, <laughs> a, a spare plunger. <laughs> here they are, awesome. Yay, found them. You know, you got the right idea. You can never have too many of those plungers, am I right? <laughs> Hold on, oh boy, it's terrible. Uh, I'm sorry, but have you seen my leftover pizza? Leftover pizza? Uh, yeah, no, I haven't. Oh, jeez Louise, someone must have stolen again. This is ridiculous. Oh, I was really hungry. Oh, um, okay. That wasn't totally weird or anything. I gotta keep snooping around this basement. There's gotta be a way out. Hold on, this bookshelf's not really- <gasps> See, Brett, door, do you see that? Maybe this is my way out. Come on, Brett. Whoa. Okay, super secret creepy hallway. These usually lead to uh, good things like an exit, right? What is going on here? I need answers. It's really hard to see. I'm literally walking into walls. Come on, Brittany, focus. This place is totally creeping me out. I gotta keep going. There's a door here. I think I finally found my way out. Oh, thank goodness. Here we go. Hope it's unlocked. <gasps> Um, hello? Oh my goodness, finally! Somebody! Officer, are, are you okay? I'm locked in a jail cell. Of course I'm not okay. But you're here to free me, aren't you? Of course, but how did you even get in here in the first place? Oh, it's a long story, really, and it's kind of embarrassing. Well? <sighs> so I came to investigate a missing persons case, and, uh, well, I, oh gosh. Wait, so that makes sense about the chalk lines on the ground. Exactly! Exactly. And, uh, what else happened? You know, I'm kind of claustrophobic. Can you please open the gate? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. I shouldn't just have you waiting in here. Oh my gosh. No, it's not working. Officer, I'm so sorry. I don't know what the heck is going on here, but it's something crazy, I can assure you. Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. Nothing. Why won't this stupid door open? Useless. I'm going to live in here forever. Maybe if you tell me more about what happened, I could try to like piece things together and figure this case out or something. Last thing I remember, I was standing by the crime scene and everything went black and then I woke up and I was in here. <gasps> was there anyone around you? Just the manager. And it was definitely him. I knew something was weird about that guy. Tell me about it. Well, don't worry, officer. I'm gonna get help and I'll get you out of here. Hooray! Please be careful. This place is not as it seems. No, I'm pretty sure this seems like a terrifying place and uh, come to find out it is. You're right. Oh, just hurry back, please. I wish you luck. Stay put. Be right back. Where the heck else do you think I'm going, lady? Oof. Good point. Sorry. I'll be right back. Man, this place is a maze back here. I'm literally at a dead end. Wait a second. This isn't a dead end. And this ladder definitely was not here a little while ago. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know what could I have done in the world to get this karma, but I am gonna take it fresh air. I am so glad to be free. I need to get out of here fast and I cannot let that creepy hotel guy see me. But now I need help. And the only person I can trust in this world is my best friend, Sophie. So you better believe I am running as fast as I can to her house. Sophie! Sophie, open up this door, Sophie! Red, hi, bestie! Girl, I can not believe you. Oh no, what did I do this time, Brett? You made me go to that creepy hotel. <laughs> and look at you, you couldn't make it one night again. <laughs> no, so if I was gonna be stuck in there forever if I didn't find a cop locked in a prison in the basement and all these other crazy things. This is no regular hotel. It's not just creepy, it's extra. <gasps> oh my pineapples. I just thought this place would be haunted by ghosts or something. That's all. Honestly, I would much rather an army of ghosts at this point. Huh, that bad, huh? Jeez, I, uh, I'm feeling a little sorry. I, I shouldn't have dared you, Brit. Well, thank you for saying sorry. But girl, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda jealous. I wanna solve this mystery. You said there was a secret prison and a cop locked up. 
Well, Bessie, you are in luck because I need your help. And there's no getting out of it. Ooh, but I uh, gotta rearrange my sock drawer and uh, feed my pet ants and um... No way, no, no, no. You owe me big time. Oh, fine, fine. But hold on just a second. I gotta make a costume change. Be right back. How do I look? <laughs> like you're ready to solve a crime. Perfect. <laughs> Let's get to it. Woo, boy. Yeah, this place is even creepier in person than it is online. And if I had a dollar for every time someone said that about me. So What? It's true. I'm kind of crazy. But you know that. That's why we're besties. True. All right, so are you ready to go in? I mean, if we can. Last time I was here, the front doors were locked. What? No, 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 no. That ain't happening. Come on, Frank. Let's take a look. Okay, so go ahead. Try and open them. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, pleasure to see you're back. Oh, um, yeah. Mr. Hotel Manager Man. Hi, dude. What's the place you got here? Look. You agreed to stay. You can't leave the hotel without checking out. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just really, really hungry and uh, wanted to go get a burger downtown. Oh, and, but I uh, did invite my friend to come stay with me. And I'm a friend. <laughs> Blended. Another customer. <laughs> You know, we do have food here on premise. That way you never have to leave. Oh, I should have thought of that. Room service, right? Exactly. Now you are no longer permitted to leave. It's in your room agreement you signed. Uh, you sure you can do that? My hotel, my rules. Yes, whoa, whoa, so sorry. Didn't mean to upset you there. How about you two follow me? We'll show you to our restaurant. So isn't this place terrible? Yep, you bet, but I'm kind of hungry, so let's go. <laughs> Here we are, and this is Eunice, our chef. Eunice, say hello. Hi there. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Wait a second. Didn't I bump into you upstairs? It wasn't him. No, I'm pretty sure it was. Nope, impossible. Eunice, now fix up our guest here. A prime meal. The best you've got. I have business to tend to. All right, chef. I'll take the special. Right away. See, so I told you this place is so weird. <laughs> Weird. Sure, it's not glamour. Super cool. It, it's okay. Your hot dogs are ready. Ooh, perfect. I'll be taking one of those. Thanks, buddy. And here's yours. Oh, uh, thank you. Don't eat it. What? Don't eat the food, whatever you do. Um, okay. Yeah, dude, I'll be the judge of that. Come on, Brent, let's go to our room. What floor are we on again? The second floor. Something is totally not right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful. Oh, girl, come on. I got this. Besides, it's literally the only fun thing we can do in this creepy place. I know, but at least the manager was nice enough to upgrade our room. Yeah, now we can have a sleepover. Even though it's terrifying. Oh, oh wait a minute, Britt. What is it, Soph? Oh, I don't know if it's all the jumping, but I'm not starting to feel too good right now. Oh, no. Soph, it was probably all that jumping around on the bed you were doing. Actually, girl, I, uh, I got a Session. What is it, Soph? Remember that hot dog you told me not to eat? Well, I ate it. What? No, Sophie, you weren't supposed to do that. That's what don't eat the hot dog means. I know, but... Aw, oh, come on, Brett. You can't be mad at me. Yes, Sophie, I can be mad at you. This chef told me not to eat it, so why would you eat it? Look, your girl gets hungry, and when she gets hungry, she can't solve a mystery. So, would you rather me starve? Sophie! Sorry, dude, but... Girls gotta eat. Okay, fine. How about you rest and I'm gonna go talk to that cop and let him know that help is on the way. Good idea, girly. Whew, I'm gonna lay down. <sighs> Sophie, are you already fast asleep? You bet I am. Okay. Stay in bed. I'll I'll be right back. Alright, gotta get going. Um, why do I have a feeling someone's staring at me? Oh! Because someone is. Um, hi Eunice! Hello! Maybe he didn't see me? Hey, no offense, but do you get the creeps working at this place? All right, so why didn't you want us to eat the food you made? Isn't this place lovely? Eunice, hello, I, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. This is kind of serious. Not many chefs would tell you not to eat their food. What is going on here? Isn't this place lovely? Okay, great, great talk. I, uh, I need to go grab an extra toothbrush for my friend. Hope you don't mind. Oh, I left the creepy door open. Probably shouldn't do 
that so that way no one finds me. Officer Hit! Officer? Um, what the heck? Where did he go? He was here a few minutes ago. Um, officer? Okay, this is not good. Where could he have gone? Something's really wrong here, and I would really love some answers. There's like a clue in- Wait a sec. There's a book. Looks like a journal. Definitely gotta check this out. It's a police officer's journal. So, uh, I guess I gotta go back and tell Sophie. Gosh, next time, remind me to leave breadcrumbs because uh, leaving that is terrifying. Right, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Uh, hi, Eunice. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Weird. So the officer took notes about the weird history of this hotel? Gotta keep reading. Oh, gosh. Sophie's gotta see this. Sophie? <gasps> um, Sophie? Okay. Where are you? I'm shutting this door. Sophie? Where'd she go? Bestie? Okay. Quit hiding. Are, are you in the bathroom? Hello? Okay, she's not here. Where the heck did my best friend go? This is not good. First the cops missing and now Sophie? Hello. Enjoying your stay? Ah, you! What the heck is going on here? Whatever do you mean? Is the room not to your liking? This hotel is so creepy, and I know there's something weird going on. <laughs> this hotel is the nicest one in town, and everything's going according to plan. <laughs> What did you just say? That this is the nicest hotel in all of Bloxburg? Okay, so if this hotel is so nice, then where is my best friend? Why is she missing? Oh, oh, Sophie. She said uh, she was feeling much better and wanted to walk around. She's in the lobby. Wait, really? So she's okay? Of course, why wouldn't she be? You can go see for yourself. Awesome, all right, thanks, dude. Not a problem. <laughs> Sophie, oh my gosh, hey. Girl, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, Sophie? Hello? Bestie? Uh, are we playing that game where you ignore me again? Really, really, really need to talk to you, and I'm so glad that I found you, because I thought you were a goner. Isn't this place lovely? What? No, So this place is terrible. We both agreed on that. Anyway, Bestie, I found you this journal in the cop cell. He was missing, but this is his journal. There's like all these notes in it. All items found in the hotel are property of the hotel and should be turned into the manager. What? No, Sophie, snap out of it. Don't you wanna solve this mission or what? Hello? Isn't this place lovely? That's exactly what the chef was saying. So are, are you under some like weird spell or something? Sophie, are you in there? Hello? Isn't this place lovely? This is really bad. Brit, there you are. Interested in a cup of our house brewed tea? Your friend here seems to really be enjoying it. <laughs> Isn't this place lovely? What? No, I don't want your stupid tea. Something is strange. Sophie never thinks anything's lovely. You sound stressed. How about a cup of tea? Really, it's fantastic. No. Isn't this place lovely? Come on, what do you say? Absolutely not. Get away from me, you weirdo. Okay, I came to the third floor in hopes that the manager wouldn't follow me up here because my room was on the second floor and maybe there's like a... <gasps> Perfect! A utility closet or something? Maybe I can finally get more details from this police journal. This is weird. It says right here that the manager's been running this hotel for over 70 years. How old is that guy? Like 300? Jeez. Wait, and it says that he has a couple of guests that have never left. Okay, all right, that's super weird. That is not normal at all. What is going on? Hold on, I read that wrong. No, it was they don't check out because they disappear? <gasps> ah, this is terrifying. Um, what is in this room? <gasps> ah, a coffin? Do you think that's where the creepy manager sleeps? Because he's like 40 million years old? Oh gosh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, relax. You're letting all this creepiness get to you. I'm gonna go try another room. Anyone in here? Okay, great, perfect. No one's in here. Get out of here. This is it. The cop said he believes that the manager uses that big pocket watch he wears to hypnotize people. That would make sense. He probably makes him this like special tea that he's bragging about. Wait, no, what if the tea hypnotizes them? <gasps> this explains everything. I can't believe it. Gotta find a way to get to that pocket watch and like break it or whatever and free everyone of being hypnotized. There's a note over here on the wall. They're watching. Get out while you still 
Anne? Oh my gosh, they're totally talking about the manager. This isn't good, I should hide this book. Wait, there's another note? They know you know, you can't leave now. Please save me. <gasps> That's from the cop for sure. Don't worry, cop and Sophie, I'll save you guys. I just have to come up with a good plan. You know what? Got it. What if I tell him I want some of that tea and then I just trick him? Yeah. Okay, now to find that manager. Hello? Oh, huh, Mr. Manager Man. Hi there. Hello, Brittany. Lovely day, huh? Oh, yeah, just peachy. I can't help but notice, but you seem rather upset. What's wrong? Are there bed bugs? No. Are the pillows out of duck feathers? No, not that. Oh, whoa, dude, you move fast. Well, when there's a problem, I would like to find a solution. Well, you know what I've been thinking? I would like to try that famous house brewed tea of yours. Excellent choice. But wait, wait, wait. I would really like to put some lemon in my tea if I could. That should be no problem. Right this way. Oh, Mr. Manager Man, wait a second. You got a little lint on you. Huh? I do. I'll be taking that. <laughs> hey, wait! My watch! Time to get my best friend back. Sophie! Girl, come on! Let's get out of here! Huh? Wait, what? what? What's going on? Why am I drinking tea? Whoa, I don't want this! Sophie, we gotta get out of here! Come on, hurry up! Jason, please, stop your yelling! All right! Come on, let's go! What? 